G'day guys, we're just um, going to make this quick video to show you exactly the sort of structural beams that need to be in place um, to do a gable. You often get a lot of drawings come through um, that don't quite have the right um, support in, in place to, to, to hold up the panels basically. So this drawing is um, for an insulated panel patio and this is sort of minimum engineering wise that we can get away with um, on a smaller size patio so as you can see here um, a lot of times I just get oops, sorry I get some drawings that sort of I'm missing these objects or you know, the front beam like this and as you can probably tell that's just got nothing to support these panels here so let's see we need to have these supports in a minimum we need the ridge beam to hold up the panels and then we need these two uh, king posts which are supported by a front and rear beam this rear beam is usually bolted to the wall and this post, depending on its length, or this beam, sorry, depending on its length, would be supported by one, um, two posts, or three posts. Another example of a bigger one is this. So, as you can see here, we've got two side panels taking water from the gable and then out. It allows me to have a larger outdoor area. But on this instance we need these two beams as well, or four beams, in order to strengthen it, cross brace it and so forth. So that's just a quick one, just to show you what needs to be done structurally, beam wise, to hold up your panels. Thank you.